As a fun side quest for the Artificially Ink team, we've been drawn to an art form that once revolutionized the film industry, claymation. This technique is famous for its meticulous process, each character and prop is hand-modeled, and every single frame is animated manually. Then came the big idea. Inspired by the success of games like Cuphead, which embraced a retro art style, we wondered, could we create a unique game using the charm of claymation? So, we got to work. Here's a sneak peek at the progress we've made so far. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Here's how we achieved this subtle yet distinctive claymation look and feel. First, we needed claymation style models, but our usual toolset wasn't giving us the results we wanted. So, we turned to the open source community, bringing out the big guns with ComfyUI. Fortunately, there were already some models trained specifically for this style. And after a quick tune up of our ComfyUI workflow, we were ready to start creating characters. With the help of an open pose modifier, our character came to life quickly in this simple workflow. Next, we brought our character into Rodin to generate a 3D mesh, then rigged it up for animation. But even with this progress, it still didn't fully capture the claymation look. Luckily, a talented developer in the game dev community had already created a Unity shader designed to achieve the perfect clay-like texture. With this shader applied, our character finally looked the part. Even with our shader, something still felt off, the motion itself was too smooth. In classic claymation, each character is moved one frame at a time, giving it a charmingly choppy look, not the fluid 60Fs we're used to in games. We needed to slow things down. Fortunately, another talented game dev had already solved this with a stop motion script. By adding the script to our character and adjusting the frame rate through the character's animator, we could recreate that authentic claymation feel, keeping only the character's movements choppy while allowing the rest of the game to run smoothly. And just like that, we've captured the claymation look inside our game engine. Of course, there's still a long way to go before this becomes a fully functional game, but we're excited to shape this into a classic third-person shooter. Share your thoughts in the comments. And while you're at it, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on this experiment as it unfolds. You'll find links to all the tools we used in the description below.